What in the hell are, am I seeing? Are they burning someone there? What is that? <gasps> hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears the Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Dear God, what did I get myself into? I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in the state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. Jesse, let's cook. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh, hey. Oh, this is cool. Wait, hang on. Hang on, wait, uh, I guess I should read this. Congratulations on the transfer, feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Okay, good to know, welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you, heard about you from Josh, very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts on the 12th, sounds good, I'll be there. Anything I need to know? Just have your papers. I have your papers, just bring your ID. Josh told me this job is new, is not news to you. Can I just ask you one question? Sure, why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the frill or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry. I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. Uh, that's understandable. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong, and I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady. Why? What happened to the last lady? Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around the back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, you'll take a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. All right. That's from Mitch, I guess my employer. And this is from Kayla, I guess a potential love interest. This new regional manager, manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot more than that. Still on my way, Van decided to pull a fat tire on me today out of all days. Always, always we have trouble with the cars when we most need them. Every single time. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Wait, this is my RV. Oh, we got a nice looking RV. Let's go. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Let's see how long this will last. I felt like I was at home in the woods. That's fair. That's fair. I miss Canada in the woods. Being in the woods was so much fun. Oh, we got a message from our potential love interest. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burger in town. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. All right, let's do it. Let's just not crash into anyone. Why can't I park this thing properly? You know what, let's park right there. Right, right, right here. Come on, come on. Okay. You know what? I think that's as good as it's gonna get. You know what? We did well with this RV. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. One second. That DPI is way too much. Let me see that. Oh, that's much better. Decent bedroom as well in the RV. Where's the meth lab? Jesse! All right, let's go get that burger. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. Uh. <laughs> How's that burger treating you? This little piece of heaven. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Fair. You new around here? I'm a new staffer at Ironbark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. <laughs> what did I get myself into, chat? The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else like... There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? 
Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in, these, in, this, in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Oh, lordy. Why the creepy music? Tasty food here. I will be the judge of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Okay. Oh, wow. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Uh, good. How about you? Feel free to take a seat. Any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Look how she walks. <laughs> Uh, what's up, everyone? How y'all doing? <laughs> you look a little lost. <laughs> I, this guy broke his neck to talk to me. Why does? Why do you? Why do you have a shovel? Who comes into a diner with a shovel like that? What are you doing? Do Do you mind if I join you? I'm not joining this guy. How's the food? He just stared at me. Okay, uh, you know what? You know where we're gonna sit? We're gonna sit at the back here so I can see everyone that's, uh... There's no sofa here? Okay, we'll sit in this one so I can see exactly where everyone is and, what's ev and what everyone's doing. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Hey, Barb, are you ready to order? Uh, sure, yeah. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with the chicken nuggets. We gotta have what that guy was having outside, the burger. Cheeseburger with the fries. Aha, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Large Coke, coffee, strawberry slush. We're gonna go with a large Coke. You can't have a burger and fries without Coca-Cola. Perfect. Anything else? Uh, that'll be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it, Barb. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Nice clean bathroom. Not bad. I really had to pee. Okay, let's pee. <laughs> what? There's no way. <laughs> Emptying the tank. We gotta, we gotta make space for that large coke coming. Wow, this guy had to go. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Uh, yes, we're definitely washing our hands. Gotta get everywhere, between the nails, around the fingers, everything. Use the soap, let's dry our hands. All right, we're good. Let's eat. I think that's it. I think that's it, chat. Oh, we're, we're gonna go in. <laughs> we're going in. Is that my burger, Barb? Uh, 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 thank, thank you. All right, all right. Oh, that looks great. That looks great, chat. We, got, we even got the mustard, ketchup, and mayo. If, if, it, if it allows me to give a detailed review, I will. All right. Burger. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Yeah, so better indulge, buddy. Better indulge. Can we, can we eat the... Let's eat the fries. You know, when, when there's a long intro, it scares me more. Oh, Kayla. So did you... Oh, wow. Wait. Uh, so did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Hell yeah. It's amazing. Go away, Barb. I'm not done yet. I'm not done, Barb. Barb! I'm not done. Thank you. Told you. Yeah. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe. Creepy guy just went to the bathroom chat. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great, Barb. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? The check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Yeah, Kayla's on her way home. She's gonna send us a, a recipe for casserole. Can't wait for that. Should we leave a tip, chat? Here's the check. Your total is six... Six dollars? For a whole meal? That's like... That's pre-COVID prices right there. Wow. Should pay the six, pay six, and 15% tip. 50% tip? You want, you want me to give her a 50% tip? Well, for all I know, she could be the killer. So let's be generous, sure. Let's give her a 50% 50, 50 tip. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got an achievement for that. <laughs> we got an achievement. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah, you're most welcome. Oh, 
Where'd the creepy guy go? One second, Barb. He just disappeared. Thanks, Barb. See ya. I, I, I swear to God, I closed this door, right? No, I closed this. I know I closed it. I went like this. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I told you guys a, a breaking bad joke and I went into the... Who's in my house? Someone's gonna be on the bed, be like, hey. What? The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Okay, I guess we're driving off with with a creep in our in our bathroom. Come on, reverse. Why am I so bad at driving in, in video games, but in real life I have 11 years no claim? Yeah, yeah. Driving down the road in the horror game, 8.02 p.m. All right, 8.02. Oh, now we're, in, now we're in darkness, let's go. Even better. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Dude, this must be it, chat. Oh, look, another RV. I didn't want, I wasn't very proud of my driving, yeah. Maybe, maybe we should, maybe we should reverse and, 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 and face, and face the road instead. Just like that. Just, just like that. And we're ready, and we're ready to go in case something happens. It's still jammed. Here we are. Keep a note on this chat. I closed the damn door. Hello? Anyone home? How do I, hello? <laughs> I scared you? I scared- you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? Hey, Lord, have mercy. Oh, he's one of. Oh my God, he's one of those. Okay. Holy God. Okay, I gotta speak to. I gotta speak in like a southern accent or, or something. Anyways, I can see your permit, please. Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred fire uh, lookout. Is that correct? I don't know. We were hiring this season. Hang on. Let me check on that. I think I'm- I think I'm doing good. Officer friendly, my snow white ass. This guy scared- this guy was waiting behind the door and jump scared me just for the fun of it. Okay, pal. I'm not your pal, friend. You're good to go. Your staff, the fire tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left on staff for the season. But here are your keys. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the log hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you're clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Okay, cool. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that, that way, pal. I'm not your pal, bud. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Let's go on this on this hike in the middle of the dark woods. Why is he not coming with me? Isn't he a park ranger? I hear foots. You hear footsteps, right, chat? We're being followed, aren't we? 11.32 p.m. It took us four hours to get here. It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. Oh, there's a creek as well. That's always fun. Iron Bark, Tower 11, okay. Oh, so that's my tower right there. Lacey Trail is there and Gold Creek Trail. So Gold, Tre Gold Creek Trail is the way back. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Yeah, I imagine. But the peace and quiet as well. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Let me go check out the shack. Did I get the iPhone charger? I hope so. Oh, okay. Nice. We got firewood. Some gasoline. Gasolina. Another torch, some matches, and uh, the hell is that? Bear mace? And this thing is used to measure the wind. Okay. Let's go check out our our little Fortnite tower here. Built in 0 0.2 milliseconds. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Oh, so that's that radio tower right there. Oh, that's good. And that must be the other one there. Uh, tower 12. That's a long ways away. Dang. Cabin was filled with the aroma, aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I can't read today. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Months? There we go. We don't need 
Our flashlight. That's a decent spot, huh, Chad? Don't you think? Decent spot. We got the microwave, fridge, oven, little, little tiny kitchenette here. Got our own little gaming PC over here. So iron bark, 11. Okay. I'm guessing no spaces. Nice, we're in. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We <laughs> hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. Okay. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a nice. truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. Why is the tower bent like that? I hope that's not the one I'm in. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Gotcha. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The ah. science nerds at the panoramic What the hell is that? Require us to note all what changes the hell? in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. State-of-the-art, huh? This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So NASA. don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire, which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Yeah, like they get here on time. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. <laughs> we hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Not too shabby. I enjoyed that. Uh, this I'm assuming is the... Okay. Yeah, that's... To the state of the art? They're really... New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Uh, who is this? Over. I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Thought I was gonna be alone out here. Over. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Uh, th thank you, I suppose? Over. It's Jack. Jack Nelson. Over. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. Over. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. Over. Experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. Over. You got a fire going? No. Over. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Over. Ready to wield some digital magic with console type help to get the command list. Available system update. Oh, so this is where we do the updates. Okay. Cool. Alright. This looks interesting. Okay, smoke. Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. There's no firewood. Over. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? Over. Before you, she was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. We'll do. Yeah, Over. You must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. 
Actually, uh, I need to take the temperature. Temperature is 44.3 degrees Fahrenheit. 17 knots. Wind speed is 17 knots. Weather condition. Number of hikers assisted zero. Reported by... What's my name? Jack... Jack Nelson? And I think it was cloudy. I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. Clear. It was clear. Nice. Okay. We actually did our job. This ambience is, is freaking amazing. Wow. Oh, so here we go. So we got some firewood here. Nice. Oh, need gasoline. Oh, all right. Uh, let's just... Yeah, throw that there. G gasoline. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is a fire hazard. Wait. <laughs> nice. Very nice. We got it going. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. That scared the crap out of me for... Let's get warm. Can you report for the night yet? Yeah, it's done. Over. Very well. Anyways, I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Over and out. First night done. That wasn't too bad. It's a little creepy, though. 326 AM. What happened? What? What? What's going on? This is- it's just my first night, come on. What- what happened? What? I had the pee? What? <laughs> Connor, over. Connor, do you read? No answer. So I had the pee. On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Well, yeah, it's the middle of the night. 3 a.m. as well. Not exactly... Wait, what? Space to pee? Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. There's no way I'm gonna pee off the railing, right? What in hellfire is that? Was that a flashlight? Wait, I gotta get my binoculars. What is that? There is someone there. Might be able to get a good look at him here. What? Who the hell is that? That's not funny. Night two. Oh, lordy. Oh, hey, all right. All right. It's just you and the wind. Drinking my hot cocoa. First thing in the morning, 6 a.m. with the beautiful sunrise. Wonder where that guy went off to. Look at that, the birds flying, the wind is blowing in my in my hair. Not, not my hair, because I don't have any, this guy's hair and Ah, we opened all these. Can we can close these? Ah, interesting. Okay, that's why it looks so secluded. But we have the nice view all over the place hey, now. Do you copy? I hate this dude. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Coming. Just wait a bit. Just throw my shit there. Uh, let's turn this off. Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Over. Son of a bitch. Uh, what? Over? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Over. Oh! The smoke was white. Indicative of a campfire. Ah, for the love of God, these dumbass campers! You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. Over. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. The fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Over. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out.
It is a creepy game though. It's interesting. I can't I can't believe like creepy stuff like this actually happened to this guy. Very unfortunate. Why why do I run so much quicker or sideways? That's so funny. <laughs> or just zigzagging down. Uh lacy trail, he said, right? So right down here. 8.37 p.m. How long did I... Oh, I'm glad I got that. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. I'm glad I brought out the flashlight chat. Look at that. That's so much better. What happened? What would have happened if I didn't bring it? Jeez. Oh, boy. Okay. Hello? No capping. Violators will be sighted and moved. Oh, wow. I love Jen. She gives the best. <laughs> Who screamed? Whoa. Okay. Relax. Relax. Relax, Kayla. Oh, I think we just got service. Sorry, just got home. Oh, she got the... She gave us the stuff. You will not believe how easy this one is to further give her. Did you reach yet? Send pics. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything's okay. Hi, sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. Oh, we sent her the beautiful pictures we took earlier. Photographer. Okay, let's check this out. Before I get murdered here. Hello? Who's... F Who's whistling? Did you see that? Did someone see something just here? Who's there? Show yourself! I saw- I saw something there for sh Oh my god. There's a canoe over here. Wait, this is the- Oh, it's a small pond. Canoe, small pond, no one's around, someone's screaming, someone drowned. That's unfortunate. Someone drowned. That sucks. Why is this boarded up like that, though? I had to put it out. Oh, we got to put out the fire. Oh, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Just fill it up with water. Yeah, someone come out and, and scare me. Someone try me tonight. Try it. Hero, try it. We ain't taking shit. Okay. Uh, get out of my face. Uh, let's pick up the bear spray. We have a knife. Can I pick that up? Why did why don't they ever pick up the weapons in these horror games? I don't understand it. Why can't I pick up even a spatula would be something chat. We're going back to the to tower 11. We're going back to safety. Screw this Hell I got bear mace Nope, we out we out we out we out 9.07 p.m. <clears throat> As I hiked back to my tower through the dark. I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. Yeah, you think? My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Safe and sound in my little, little, little fortress here. Who the f- Who's whistling? Who whoever is whistling out there, try me! Try me! Try me! I got the bear mace! I'm not entertaining that. That's not- That's not funny. That's not cool. That's not cool. Why is there a microphone? Oh wait, I can see- I can see on the outside? Yeah, let's get the wood and, and let's get the hell out of here, please. Connor, do you copy? Over. Hey Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, dude. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Talk about the campsite. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. What? Over. They never learn, do they? Who are you talking about, Over? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. This has been happening a lot, Over? This is the third time this month alone. Damn, Over. Anything else you notice in those woods? There was a scream that I heard, and I couldn't find any sign of a body. Over. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. Over. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. The kids?
kids went missing in that area? Over? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with the campers? Over. Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes... That's unsettling. Over. You guy? I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. Over. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Alright, keep me updated. Over. We can make this casserole now. I'm so jelly of that view. This okay. Kayla is peanut butter and jealous of the view. We know. We know that. Uh, actually, wait. First, first. Let me do. Let me do my actual job first here. 48.7. Thank you so much. 48.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Cloudy. Number of hikers assistant. Well, zero because I think the guy died. All right. Let's uh, close down. Let's close down shop. Connor, over. Good job. What did they say? Over. Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. Over. Hope they can track them down and give them a piece of mind. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Over. Over 12. Signing off. Over and out. Good night, Connor. Over and out. Hey, our food's done. I just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. I like eating in bed. Oh, okay, let's eat in bed. I was already full. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, so we have food for tomorrow. That's great. All right, let's go to bed. We're good. We're not doing too bad. I don't think, Chad. Don't you agree? We're not doing too bad today. 227 and Why? Why? I was woken up by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Who's whistling? That's not a... Not a chance in hell. Oh my Christ! No, don't throw it! What are you doing? Thank you. Okay, it was a mistake that... Huh? Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Connor! Connor, do you copy? Over! Connor! Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you, it's urgent! Hello? Over! Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door, Connor. You couldn't wait until morning? This is freaking... There's a ram skull! I'll tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. Uh, I don't think these kids are messing around, Over! Some real ritual, man. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? Over. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Are you? For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over now. Thanks. Over now. Dick? 
Connor didn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, Connor's in on it, chat. Connor's in on it. Ninth free. All right. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Oh, no. He had time to think on it. And Connor tried to reason his harmless prank by some kids. What? Six sons of bitches would do this. But there's something about the night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Oh, my. Okay. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower. By scanning the densities of all the trees around me. Why? Oh. Oh. Oh, that helps. Let's just clean that really quickly. That helps a lot. I was wondering why I couldn't see much. Just give it a nice clip. Okay. Flare. That's not a good sign, right, chat? This is Jack, Tower 11, over. I hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. All right, what's going on? Over. I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Mm-hmm. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think, I think I'm lost. What is your current location? Over. Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods. On this trail surrounded by trees, everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks of any kind? Over. I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing right now? Over. I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? Over. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and get right back to you. Over. I think he has to go left, chat. I'm gonna say left. Uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Take the left trail, over. <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely, over. Hello, over? I'm right here! What do you mean, over? I hear you. What? I hear your whistles. I'm... I'm in my tower right now. Over. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. Over. You, you're freaking me out. Hell no. Oh! Oh, it's Officer Friendly! Holy moly, what took you so long in there? Oh! Oh, it's officer friendly chat. We're good. Oh, man. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I'm not your pal, buddy. I already said this a million times. I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, you got your tower supplies here? Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Let's... All right, I take the supplies. I got some more supplies. Let's go, chat. Uh, thank you, Officer Friendly. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. Wait, what? I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. How does this guy know? Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. I'm not your pal, friend. I'm not your pal, friend. Bobcats and bears? You be careful out there, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. This guy's in on it, chat. This guy's in on this cult shit. 
I've got enough to keep me occupied here, Officer Friendly. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? I'm just getting used to the new environment. He's in on it. I'm not going to mention the skull. I don't think I should. No, I'm not going. That's the spirit. Did you notice anything unusual in your hike up north yesterday? Okay, well, yeah, someone someone did leave a skull did, over here. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think of it at the time, officer. Uh, you know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Of course not. Yeah, there we go. Of course not. Anyways, it's getting late. I better be going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies, officer. And, uh, yeah, don't fall down the stairs. Would hate to see you trip! Number of hikers assisted? I guess I, I guess I assisted with one, but we never knew what happened. Outdoors, man, that's creepy. All right, let's eat. I wonder how good this casserole is the day after. Oh, it's really windy tonight. Do I need to pee? Oh. Let's get some, some uh, firewood. Do we need anything from here? I don't think so, do we? Nah, we're good. Let's grab that wood. <laughs> What? Is this the guy from the diner? You just gave me a heart attack. Yeah, you nearly ended my whole existence. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. You son of a- I might actually get- What do you mean? What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Silas? Silas from Horizon Zero Dawn? Silas? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing usual maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late, you old creep? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. Nah, that's susses. Nah. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely informa re relay information about the fire sightings. Absolutely. What's with the music? Some fires are meant to be- are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of the cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. Okay. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Yeah, farewell. Yeah. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Where is he going? We got some weird cult shit happening in this stream, guys. I don't, I don't understand what's going on here yet. I can't believe this is based on a true story. Some guy actually went through this? Copy now. Loud and clear. Over. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Over. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? Over. Connor, over. <sighs> it's just about yesterday. What do you mean? What do you mean? Over. You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean, Connor? Explain yourself. Over. Just talk to over. Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Over. Knew your name. You think he's been listening? I uh, I don't know. Over. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, 
Get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Over. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Alright. Good night, Connor. Over. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night. Over and out. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment and that I needed to get used to the strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods. It was not enough to cause an alarm yet. Seriously? Se Seriously? However, that would soon change. Two nights later. This is based on an actual true story, so... 9.18 p.m. So, yeah, it's pretty scary. Oh, on top of everything, it's raining. You got a minute? Oh, my God. I'm listening. Over. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. Over. Check for available system update. What is that? C H K U P D. Free updates found the package code. Oh, it's right there. Oh, cool. So four three four six zero eight four. Looking for serviceable lines. Please enter an active line. So one of these. Ten forty-five. Really? Uh okay. Uh fifty-nine eighty-seven. Cool. 5487 There we go. Hey, let's go. Hey, we did it. Let's go. I'm not a complete moron. Let's go. Oh. What the hell? No, don't tell me the power. Don't don't no way in hell. I hope no one is waiting for me down here. I I don't see any Do you guys see anything weird? I don't see anything. It's really hard to see though in this type of rain. Generator ran out of gas. Oh, I got drenched in the rain. Uh, let's pick up. Let's fill that up. Nice. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave that there. It was getting cold, and I had to pee. Ah! One week later. Really? Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there are no fires going, the only thing I do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. Oh, no. We got another one. Another what? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. <sighs> Jack, do you copy? Right here, Connor. Over. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy. What happened? Over. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? <sighs> Let me have a look. Over. God damn it. <clears throat> Alright, let's take a look. What? You know what? What? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. This guy is absolutely useless to me. No help whatsoever. He's so bad at his job. He's actually, like, pissing me off. What in the world is that? What the hell is that? What in the hell is that? What? I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense was the time was to take evidence of it. What in the hell are, am I seeing? Are they burning someone there? What is that? <gasps> oh my god, they saw me! <gasps> what? 
Where the hell are they? Oh no! <gasps> There's no way! There's no way! Okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, oh my god! Oh my god, uh... to make a run oh my god i have to run for it for real where's my bear mace he's gonna see me and i oh no all right okay i hear him shit who are you oh my oh my god oh my god Oh, he's in there. He's in there. He's in there. I can make a run for it. Go, 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 go. Come on. We're getting out of here. Screw this. We're going home. I'm going home. Oh, my God. Get back to the car. I mean, RV. Of course it's locked. Of course it's locked. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Fuck me. Okay, go, 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 go. RV. Jesse! Oh my god, did I do it? Oh my- As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed it to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Yes, son of a- Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. What? No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. Thank you, someone finally smart in a horror game. Get out of there, live your life. Holy shit. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a, a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Wow, what a story. What a story, chat, huh? Santori and Christian, thank you both for the follow.